Well, peeps, today is the big day. Pick up the new battleship. Let's go check it out. Okay, here it is. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. I wish we had the sun on it even a little more. It's an amazing pearl white color. Uh, the DVX20 from Vexus. Um, yeah, wow, this is a big moment, peeps. All right, let's, uh, AJ's gonna run me through the program, all the stuff I need to know about this rig and uh, What's, I want to say here too, what's so awesome with working with these guys from Angler's Edge, that this is a father and son outfit. Thank you so much, AJ. AJ, come on over here. These are the gentlemen I'm going to be working with. I appreciate so much all the effort you guys have put into making this a possibility and looking forward to working with you guys. Uh, awesome. This is just, this is we're Father and son. We are excited. Yeah. It's awesome. So thank you. Um, I guess we're going to jump in this thing here. Yeah. Search tongue brakes. Um, I don't know if your old trailer had that or not, but yes. the, the long and short of it. Um, is there is a solenoid in there, and that solenoid, when you put your truck in reverse, is what locks the brakes, the brake fluid from going into the into the brake calipers. Um, if you ever have an issue backing up, always check your light connection first. Check your truck. Um, a lot of newer trucks have a separate fuse for the trailer reverse lights because of the surge tongues. If that fuses out, your reverse lights on your truck will work, but they won't work on your plug. Got so, it. Um, a good indicator of that is obviously just having somebody go around the back and look and see if your reverse lights are on. If your reverse lights are on, then we know that our light system is good and we might have an issue with that solenoid itself. Look, it's even got the plug built right into the thing. You don't have to have the adapter. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with them or not, but um, we use them to move boats around with the tractor. There is um, a, a stopper, I guess you'd call it. Uh, that will stop the surge tongue from locking up. Sure. Um, I would highly recommend ordering one. I think we have some for sale up front too. They're 12 or $14 and they will save a trip for you. So if you get to a point to where, okay, you've got something going on here, you've got something going on with your truck, you can throw that on there and still be able to back the trailer up with that Even issues. If, okay, gotcha. Um, that way, you know, you're, you're down in Florida, you're going to back up, you can't back the thing up, you can't figure out if it's a light problem, what have you, because that solenoid's not being activated. Sure. The surge tongue is gonna apply the brakes, so we're not gonna be able to back it up. So, just something to keep in mind. Don't just send it when, if the tires aren't turning. Right. <laughs> right. Parking brake tension can be increased or decreased by turning the top of the knob. Up is off, down is on. So now that one's pretty tight. So I'm gonna loosen it up a little bit. Gotcha. So it goes the whole yeah, it locks in. Yep. Okay. And all we're doing is tightening and loosening the tension on that cable. So it's just an on-the-fly adjustment. Nice. So when we turn it and we come up, that's where we're getting our pressure on the on the gotcha. seal, right? Um, the reason I point this out to customers is because you might fish in different conditions than somebody else does. I have guys that it starts drizzling and they're in. I have other guys that fish in torrential downpours. Oh yeah. If you fish in torrential downpours and you want to tighten this up, all you have to do is loosen it up here, bring that cam up. Got it. Okay. I don't do that because I used to do it and then I'd have guys say, man, this thing is just tired and hell. Right. So 
just a I'm word to the wise. I'm used to being snug on my last rig. Word to the wise. <clears throat> Control center, right? All of our switches have circuit breakers for each circuit, and they correspond with each switch. So the horn's there. That's going to be our circuit breaker for that, that circuit. It. Nav lights, here. They're just a push button reset. Sure. Well, I'm getting into the Mercury throttle. These are your keys for your compartments in the boat. Uh, you can go throttle only on these motors. There should never be a necessity to. You should never have to advance the throttle to get the motor to sure. run or start or anything like that. There's bigger problems. Though. Exactly. If that's going on, then it needs to be seen. Um, you can load active trim profiles onto this motor. Um, it's more of a have no idea what I'm doing driving a boat deal. Yeah, I, wa I want to do everything. <laughs> yeah, most people do. Um, if that's something that you're interested in down the road, um, if they end up making active trim profiles for this specific boat, we can always load them on with the diagnostic. Sure. Bag bag. This is our coast key system to key it up. We are one, two, three, four, and on. That code can be changed. Um, there is a manual in your sure. in your booklet there. Wiring up for the trolling motor? You will have trolling motor wires. You will have uh, a ground and a positive bank that you can pull power from for yep. electronics or what have you. Um, I would say, however, that if you are running big screens up here, yep. I would run a line. Direct. Yeah. Yep. Go, folks, maiden voyage right in the beautiful, pristine, clear waters of the Rock River. <laughs> How are your first couple of bites? I'm scared. <laughs> uh, Vexus brings uh, all their units with uh, side imaging units, anyways, with a side imaging and down imaging transducer on the transom, and then a shoot through in the hull also. So, oh, there, that's in there too. Yep, so that you can uh, nice. still read some 2D, depending on what your speed is and water conditions up on pads. I was worried I was going to have to put one on at a high speed. No, should be good. Wow, that's great. Here we go, peeps. like on that. 